Nasty over here. Luke, Kendra over there. Where we going? We going to Coconut Creek, South Florida, over there by Southeast, Miami, West Palm, Fort Lauderdale, all that stuff. Big head Drizzy, or Drizzle, what we call him. Blockhead, another nickname. Blockhead. Where's everybody at? They inside, brother. Bro, I have purchased my stuff. I went to the restroom, came back, and they still in there. I don't know if you guys have seen this location, but this is the uh, the brand location. Very nice plaza. Oh, really, really nice plaza. See, this is the, the branding location. Dre, you got the money? Dre picking up the, the rent. So on the way to Miami, we had to stop and do a pickup. All right, now it's time to get back on the road. We here, Capelli's Beauty and Barber Supply Store. Crew is here. About to start this class in about a half hour. Gotta see y'all. Anything you need. Let's see how they how they got 245 real quick. It's a, oh damn. I might have to buy some something over here. They got the JRLs. Oh damn, look at the setup. Very, very nice. Hell, shout out to Capelli's. Look at the setup. Y'all don't even know, guys. This is crazy to me. Your boy's products in display like this. Guys, all right, so just leaving the gym. I'm freaking tired. This is why I like to have my hairline pushed back. Not even my hairline. This is how you know it's fringe. It's a fringe. See that? I don't like I don't like this. I'd rather you line me up to my hairline. Cause I don't want to look like I'm balding, like, okay? Alright, you guys don't want to listen to me because of this stupid rule, which I don't even know nothing about with the pushbacks. Don't call it a pushback. Call it a professional tailored hairline. You know, like like the pushback rule is ruining my life. Look at this. This is where I want my hairline. Right there. Right there. Because I don't want I don't want to see through it. Right, I'm done with my rant. Now the reason why I got, the reason why I started this vlog guys today and is because we missed I didn't get any footage of the class. I want to talk to y'all about the, the whole class at Capelli's. So Capelli's is a beauty and supply store. And it was pretty cool, man, because the owners of the store, they sat through the whole class, and the class was all about business, and planning, business, strategy, and finance. UNA, just having dialogue with, with barbers from, you know, all different walks of life. Dan Matito, another one? Yeah, another one. All right, we are back. I am at the uh, warehouse, at the offices. But yeah, the conversation we were having, man, like it's so funny because success leaves clues, man. This this guy, he uh, he had lost everything when the housing market crashed in 2008, and he had four kids, all under four years old. Had every excuse to say, I can't take no risk right now. I cannot open up this distribution business. I can't go buy this building. I can't go do real estate. I I got burned by real estate. Why would I do real estate some more? But Every excuse that he was saying to himself not to do something was every excuse he needed to do something, you know? Looking at things half glass full, half glass empty, right? It's just a mindset. What the dude ended up doing was he ended up using whatever he could for a down payment. He got a building. He went to the bank. He got a building for a decent price. He bought the building. And the building was like a, it was, it was like a shithole, I guess. And it didn't have any tenants. He had to, um, but he was moving his business in there and he had to go find tenants. And he turned the building around. He turned his business around. He launched the business. The business went crazy. It's doing really, really. And now the dude owns a plaza. He owns real estate. He's got a successful business. And his, we were talking about it. And, um, People don't want their kids to struggle or, or to have to. Some people go and get a stable job or secure job because they don't have to build nothing. And one of the things that he was saying that uh, that I definitely relate to, man, is it's actually a beautiful thing when your kids are involved and they go, you know, they're built different that way. They experience things that you can't really teach um, until they have to go through it on their own it builds character and i remember times when my kids and danny's kids and perez's kids like everybody's kids would come in or our, our wives would come in and help work on the business the kids saw it man they they were there they experienced it they know where we started and what we have now and i think that that's something that's something that's kind of priceless and hard to explain man he was talking about how his kids grew up in the business and they help with the business and um, they may not want to do business anymore but at least they know through experience and you know, they might, or they might want to do their own business, a different type of business. And, you know, they got an MBA in business because they've been doing it since they were, they was a kid. And there's a book called Outliers that 
almost speaks on that about how getting that head start even if it's a few months like he brings up sports a lot and uh, i played basketball so i know this is 100 percent a fact there are kids who are held back on purpose or who are held um who are just right at the cutoff date to start school the parents don't start them they wait a year because that year especially in sports man it's like a whole lifetime because it compounds it's not just one year it's a year for 10 years you know for 12 years um, you know, that head start is, is different, man. So, you know, I wanted to share that because it was, it was an inspiring story. He told it during the class and I thought that was really dope. And then the other thing is, man, like, um, funny story. I, um, this is yesterday. I'm picking up my son from school and I had always been, I've always been planting seeds in my son and my daughter when it comes to business and investing. And I've always brought up stocks. And I remember buying my son a book when he was like eight or nine years old. It was a book on entrepreneurship and it was a book about building your businesses and how to create a product. We used to always talk about stocks and stuff and I subscribed him on his YouTube account to a YouTube channel that was about stocks, but it was more so geared for kids. I guess yesterday he's talking to a friend of his and his friends into stocks. I mean, mind you, they're in the fifth grade. These are 10 and 11 year olds, right? And his friends telling him about stocks and he's like, it's crazy, man. My, my, my account's at a thousand dollars now and Elijah's eyes just blew up and it blew up because he knew exactly what he was talking about he knew about stocks already his dad and him talk about stocks already and immediately that was like the that was like a kick in his butt to get started some of us don't get that kick in the butt till we're 25 18 my son got that kick in the butt at 11 but he would have never received that information and said okay it's time to start taking action had we not been pleading planting those seeds at eight nine 10 years old you get what i'm saying so last night he uh he picked his stocks he picked companies that he liked you know he wanted to do Fortnite, um but Fortnite's not public epic games is not public yet but that was the main one he wanted but you know i was teaching him how to do research and how just because a brand is available doesn't mean that that brand's company is public so you have to go look for the stock ticker so he's searching and the way that he paid for his stocks is he had an apple gift card so i bought the apple gift card off of him and then uh he took that money and invested it funny and it's called a, it's a custodian account so it's under his name i'm the custodian but he's the beneficiary uh if anything was to happen pretty cool man just wanted to share that story with you guys man so this is our warehouse our warehouse goes from like right here uh, about right there probably about right there all the way over to the end it's crazy would have never thought we'd ever need that much space and it's two floors super proud of it we could probably be here for quite a while especially if we design it continue like you know design the layout because here's the thing about square footage don't matter if you got six five four ten um doesn't matter how much square footage you have you got a lot of dead space if the layout is bad you could have a five thousand square foot or six thousand square foot warehouse but only have you know three or four thousand of it being usable space where us man we stack these we stack high we use every square footage um, and that's kind of how we build our barbershops as well. Because a lot of barbershops, they'll be squared. A lot of wasted space that way. Or you, there'll be a lot of room in the middle of the whole building. And you can't use none of that space that's in the middle. Right, so I'm just getting home. I got a package. But I am a... I love slides. And I wear slides most of, the, most of the time, most of the days. But my dog decided to either chew up my slides or pee on my slides. So I got the drip I picked up. Adidas ones. Got some Birkenstock ones. But, but don't judge me yet. You got to see the Birkenstocks first. So what I did was I looked up, the, or my wife did. She ordered these for me. She looked up the most comfortable slides out there. My boy, the black on black. You going to tell me these don't look comfortable as hell? Murdered out. Yeah, I'm done. These were number two on the list. But like my, my feet going to be nice and snug in there. Now, let's check out these Adidas. Adidas might be the ones. I, these Adidas were, were the ones that I really, really wanted, but those Birkenstocks were listed higher. Ooh, murdered out. Oh, that feels good. So these have like a crazy cushion. Let's see which one's more comfortable. All right, y'all, here we go. Oh, yeah, these are so comfortable, boy. Oh, yeah, these are nice. I feel like I'm walking on a pillow. All right, now let's try the Birkenstocks. Dang. The Birkenstocks are, are true to size though. I probably should have got my size. I don't know which ones are more comfortable. The Birkenstock, oh man. The Birkenstocks give you like, on the arch of your foot, they give you way more support, but these feel like pillows. 
Man, I don't know which ones are better. You guys want to see which ones these are? You like the Birkenstocks? These are the Barbados joints. At Elite or whatever the hell. Comfort. I don't know, man. I got to see without socks. But so far, I think the Adidas are winning because the Birkenstocks feel a little plasticky. But the Adidas just feel like pillows. The Birkenstocks are like plasticky but form-fitting. And the... The Adidas are like, it's cushion. I'm gonna wear both of them though, I'm gonna twist it. Final say, I got no socks on, I ain't showing y'all my feet though, some of y'all weird. My final review, the Birkenstocks are perfect for the beach because they're plastic, where the other, the Adidas, I feel like would be terrible for the, for the beach, it'd be hard to clean off the sand and stuff. So I'm going with, with Adidas for daily driving and the Birkenstocks for the beach and vacations. What do you think about that, babe? When did you become a, a slide reviewer? Like a I'm a, I'm, cause I told them I'm a slide connoisseur. Yeah, these are perfect. All right, you guys, we're coming to pick up our puppy who's been here at this uh, training facility for two weeks. Let's see what Penny's reaction is. Let's see if she even misses us. So you can see, Leash, if he's in it. Bye. And if I stop, he's in it. You want to say hi, Mommy? Do you want to say hi? Now you can say hi. Hi. Oh, she's so big. We miss you, baby. <laughs> That's our best friend right there. Alright, so now we're gonna attempt to do what they've trained her. Alright, so I'm gonna go on next. Oh, she's gonna get a whooping right in front of the trainer. All right, you guys, I'm going to set up my station with a new mat because this is the murdered out powered mat, the black on black. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of colored uh, expansion pads. The station about to look drippy. All right, guys. Which way, guys? Which way? Like that. Skeleton FXs. He's gonna make my lineup. All right, so I've shown you two clippers that are making my lineup. I got room for one more clipper, and I'm gonna keep another trimmer too. Actually, I'll probably do, I don't know, I'll probably do a gift from Filthy. I gotta use these. My skeletons with my gold blade, crazy. I really love these, so I'm probably gonna gonna keep these there too. At least, you know, in my drawer as a backup. Got to gotta have a shaver. That's super important. There's the arsenal for now. All right, y'all, so we started two new barbers at this location, two new barbers at the brand location. We are looking for barbers. If you want to join the Headlines team, call one of our shops, ask one of the managers, tell them you're looking for a chair, you watch one of Basio's videos, you know we're hiring, we're looking for good people. You ain't got to be the best barber, we'll figure that part out, but you got to be a dope person. So cleaning up the shop, man. Everybody's hype, rejuvenated. We got some new new blood in the shop. We're gonna start running ads. We're gonna start going hard on marketing. Get more traffic in this location, man. In all the locations. This is about, about to be booming. Oh, and uh, one last thing. Everything that you saw me unpack, all of the custom color powered masks, the custom color pads, expansion pads, they're all in stock right now on the website. So go to the link below, go to 245.com and get your stuff, man.